Hello friends, this video on air and water pollution part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now the question which will bother you is, what is destroying our environment? So why is this transformation happening? Why is so much unwanted substances coming into the environment? So what, what are the various factors which spoil our environment? So let us quickly look at the various factors which contribute to the damage to our environment. Pollution is the first one because as I said, pollution is something which is turning deadly day by day. Greenhouse effect. So I think you might not be aware about what it is. So I'll tell you what is greenhouse effect. But this is again another phenomenon which is harming the environment. Disposal of solid wastes. So whatever waste products we have inside our house, we in order to keep our house clean, what do we do? Do we just throw it everywhere inside the house? Our house doesn't look like a dustbin, right? So what do we do? We throw all the waste materials inside the dustbin. So inside our house, we have one or two dustbins which are supposed to carry all the waste materials. But we forget that concept or that thought process goes off when we come outside our house. When we come to the road, we do not think that, okay, we need to keep the road clean. So let us throw the waste in the proper place. So then we forget it. So what do we do instead? We take our dustbins from our home and we throw the dustbin or we empty the dustbin on the road. So that is completely illogical. The way we take care of our house and we try to keep our house clean, in a very similar way, we should also try to keep the entire locality clean, the entire city clean, the entire country clean and that's how we can control this problem of pollution because these kind of waste products which are being thrown here and there they also directly or indirectly harm the environment and they also cause pollution. So that is another important factor. Use of agrochemicals that is use of a lot of chemicals in agriculture that is agrochemicals. So the chemicals which are used in agriculture, like as I said that these days in order to increase the productivity of crops, what do we do? We apply a lot of chemicals, chem insecticides, pesticides, etc. so that the crop productivity increases, so that the plant grows faster. And using these things, we are definitely able to increase the crop productivity, but the quality of the crop is decreasing and that is also affecting us in an indirect way. Depletion of ozone layer. So ozone layer is a protective layer which is present around the earth. So the earth is surrounded by ozone layer which protects the earth against the harmful ultraviolet radiation coming from the sun. So ozone layer protects against the ultraviolet radiation which comes from the sun. Now this ultraviolet radiation can be very harmful for human beings. They can even cause deadly diseases like cancer. So this ozone layer is our protective layer. But what is happening is because of mostly due to human activities, the ozone layer is gradually depleting. That means the ozone layer is thinning out. It is vanishing from some portion. So if there is no ozone layer after a couple of years, what's going to happen? the ultraviolet radiation is going to enter inside the earth and it is going to attack us and kill us. So depletion of an ozone layer is another significant threat to the existence of living organisms. Deforestation. What is the meaning of deforestation? Forest is all about trees. Deforestation. That means no forests. So it, is, it basically means cutting down of trees. So deforestation is cutting down of trees or forest. Now for human benefit, we cut down trees purposefully or sometimes uh, we burn the trees. So what we are actually doing is first of all, we are losing the trees. We are losing the greenery. That is one thing. Now if we do not have plants, the, the existence of life would not be possible because plants and animals, they balance with each other. So if you look at it, plants utilize carbon dioxide during photosynthesis and they produce oxygen and animals, they breathe in oxygen. So they complement each other. So if we destroy all the plants, it will become very difficult for the animals to survive on earth. So deforestation is again another uh, threat to the clean environment. So these are some of the factors which spoil our environment. 
Now, you would have heard about pollution in newspapers. Some very times news comes in that, okay, the pollution has increased from this much to this much. So, the level is increasing day by day. These many people have died, etc, etc. You also get to know about pollution a lot of times whenever you go to an essay competition or whenever you go to a debate competition, they often give you a topic on pollution. But what confuses you is, what is pollution? I don't even know what is pollution, but it is a so familiar term that I keep coming across it so many times. So now you will get to know what exactly is pollution, what do we mean by it? So pollution is the presence of undesirable substances in the environment. So whenever you have some substances which we do not want, so undesirable is nothing but unwanted. So if we do not want these substances to be present in the environment, but still they are present. So what could be this undesirable substances? What could be this unwanted and harmful substances? They can be harmful gases, they can be some poisonous tiny particles, they can be some biological molecules and due to the presence of such harmful substances, the environment remains no more clean and we say that this is pollution. Now what can these undesirable substances do? So these substances can change the physical, chemical or biological characteristics of air, land, water on soil. So sometime back I told you that there are many different types of pollution. Now depending upon where these undesirable substances are present, we can categorize pollution into various types. For example, if these harmful substances are present in the air, we call it air pollution. If such substances are present in water, then that is water pollution. If they are present in soil, that is soil pollution. So that's how we classify pollution. Now, these substances, they can change the physical property of uh, air. They can also change the chemical property of air. And that's how it can make the entire air harmful. So that is pollution. For example, if you think of water, water is something which we all drink. But have you ever observed that, let us suppose you go to uh, a street side restaurant, which is a decent restaurant. You go there, you feel comfortable enough to drink water. But if you are just traveling somewhere and on the way you just see one tap, you open the tap, water is coming out of it. Will you feel like drinking that water? There is always a risk that the water might not be clean. So the water might contain some harmful substances which can be poisonous to your body. So then we say that the water is polluted. So whenever something undesirable is present in water, it gets polluted. Similarly, the smoke coming out of various industries and factories. So this smoke contains a lot of dirty particles, dust, chemicals etc so all these particles they mix with the air and that's how the chemical property of the air also changes and the entire air becomes poisonous so the air surrounding a lot of industries or factories that is generally polluted because of the industrial emissions so that's how pollution happens and these undesirable substances are called as pollutants so the substances which cause pollution are called pollutants Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.